Hello guys, welcome to Electronics Engineering. Today we are going to design a power supply of 5 volt or 12 volt with the help of some basic electronic components. You already know we also call the rectifier which is converted AC supply to DC. So let's start. Firstly talk about the components. Those we are going to use in this project. For rectifier diode, a 12 volt output step down transformer. 2 voltage regulator 7805 for 5 volt regulation and 7812 for 12 volt regulation a zero volt a wire cutter some wire for jumpers load register here i am using 1k register a 470 microfarad capacitor And lastly a multimeter now we move on the circuit diagram and try to understand how its work that is symbolic representation of transformer at the primary binding we give 220 volt and at secondary binding get smaller value of 12 volt or 6 volt and that is connected to the bridge type connection at the time of placing the components, you must careful about the orientation of the diodes. They have to connect it exactly in this form. The input is given to two ends of this network and gets rectified output from the other two ends. For our using purpose, we always require a constant DC. But we get this type of waveform which is constantly changing. It is not a constant and that means we always consider as a average DC which is 0.6 time of peak value plus this AC component. So if we want a DC value then we somehow eliminate that ripple. That's why we use the capacitor as a filter to remove the AC components. You also know the basic behavior of capacitor. It's block the DC components and so here we use capacitor as a filter and we get a pure DC voltage across the load after passing this filter. Then after that, we use the voltage regulator to regulate the voltage at our desired level. You can see the pin configuration of the voltage regulator on screen. Now we are going to place the components and then soldering work. Now we move on some finishing work. I used a box which is pretty good to place my complete circuitry inside it. I also made some port for input and output wires and to make the bottom of the box harder here I used a piece of cardboard. Now we place the circuitry inside it.
finally we place the circuitry inside the box easily and now we go for the output firstly set the multimeter to dc voltage and then measure the output now change the regulator and then measure the output if you follow exactly same step remember one thing instead of direct soldering the voltage regulator using female header because we must change the regulator every time to get different result you also go for the toggle switch i hope this video provides you the good understanding about the rectifier design if you guys like this video please comment share and don't forget to subscribe and keep supporting me thank you